Hello Fluff Butts, Kinsley here. I know it has been forever since my last video and I do deeply apologize for that. Time has just gotten away from me. <laughs> I've been super busy with other things. But today I figured that I would make a video showing you my favorite fursuit props and accessories. So the first few accessories are pretty much self-explanatory. You will see a lot of fursuiters wear these, especially to conventions. The first being a collar. Um, I got this collar at Walmart in the pet section, and it is like an extra large dog collar, and it is pink. And then I made this little badge tag to put on it with my little name on there. This is usually my neck accessory of choice if I were to suit in public, just for the simple fact that if I see children while I am out and about, they will know my name and they can call me by my name. And also the bone shape represents Kinley being a canine because she is a wolf um, and people oftentimes mistake her for a cat. Okay, another thing that suitors wear, will wear, especially at conventions, are lanyards with, of course, badges attached to them. These are all just different badges. If you want to see my full badge collection video, I will link it on the screen right here, so you are more than welcome to go check that out. But this is my Little Twin Stars lanyard that I got off of eBay. And I just attached some cute little pins and, of course, my badges on there. So. That is another must-have accessory, especially if you attend conventions. It just helps other people as far as identifying you goes and what they should call you. Next up, we have bandanas. And these are special fursuit bandanas. They are made much bigger than regular bandanas, so they will for sure fit around your neck. Um, you can also kind of like tie them around your ears and stuff, depending on the size of your suit. But this one was made for me from my friend Quibbles. I will link her YouTube channel down below. She was super kind enough to make me this adorable bandana. It is double-sided, so it is kind of glittery and pink on the back. And then it's got this these adorable sweets and everything on the front. So thank you again, Quibbles, so much for this bandana. It's such a cute accessory, and I love wearing it. Next up for accessories are hair bows. I am obsessed with hair bows and wearing hair bows with my suit, as you can see. Uh, these are the two that I mainly wear. This one up here I made myself, and this one down here with these little dangly gems I bought off of Etsy. Um, and then I also made this giant Marie from the Aristocats one because Marie is my favorite Disney character. I haven't worn this one just yet, but it is super cute and <laughs> hair bows are so fun to style your suit with, especially if you are super, super girly like me. It kind of just gives your character more character in a way by being able to accessorize. Now another thing you can wear on your head are flower crowns. I love to have flower crowns. You can get the kind that have the headband on them and just kind of like set them on the top of your suit like this. They're already pre-made so it's not that much of a problem as far as fit goes. But then you can also make your own. This is a store-bought one but I just wanted to show you this as an example. This one as you can see has elastic on it and then just some fake flowers. So you can make these easily on your own with just some elastic, some hot glue, and some flowers. And again, you can make it whatever length you need to in order to get it to fit around your head. And you can literally pick up elastic at Walmart for just a few dollars. And you can get fake flowers at like Dollar Tree or even thrift stores have fake flowers all the time. So. That is a really easy DIY for a fursuit accessory. And then of course I have to carry a bag with me when in fursuit if I am going out of course because I want to have my phone on me, I gotta carry water bottle, just kind of necessities, things like that. I prefer carrying tote bags like this that maybe just have an easy button snap closure. I don't like to carry bags with me that have like hard zippers or things like that if I am going to be getting in my bag a lot. So for example, if I need my water bottle or if I have to use my phone but I don't want to break character, I can reach in here a little bit easier and it just makes everything a little bit more convenient. 
Now, of course, if I were to go to a convention or something where I wouldn't really be reaching in my bag a lot because I'd be too busy posing for pictures and just seeing everybody and everything, I would take a backpack. This backpack I got on eBay. It is a fluffy faux fur bunny bag and it is so cute. I love this. I can't wait to eventually go to a con so I can wear this on my back. I think it'll be super cute and since it is fuzzy or furry it kind of fits. <laughs> okay now as far as props go that I would carry with me. Um, I love stuffed animals and I think it's really cute as if your personal furry character were to have a pet. You can have your little pet custom made or maybe if you bought an adoptable from someone that could be a pet you could have that customized into a plush and that could go with your character everywhere and also the plushies are really fun to kind of hold and play with especially if you are suiting around children because children love stuffed animals and that's why they love furry so much is because they're just basically giant walking stuffed animals but again here is marie from the aristocats she is my favorite as you know i've posed with her in pictures before and she's just super cute there's also a cat on my kinsley ref sheet that looks almost just like her so that's kind of why I have her is because she's on my ref sheet. And then, of course, pillows shaped like food. These pillows you can find anywhere. You can find them at Walmart. You can find them on eBay. You can find cupcake ones, pizza ones, donut ones, all different kinds of ones. And they are so cute as fursuit props because it's like just a giant snack. And you can pretend to eat them for photos or just play with them possibilities are endless and again you can buy these custom made or you can buy standard ones like a donut or a cupcake at various different places so that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it let me know down in the comments down below what your favorite prop is or accessory while you are suiting please give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my face don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you all in my next video. And don't forget to stay kawaii. Bye!